And don't underestimate the power of anything. You know, the Sahaba were extremely uh, worried about the small deeds because they accumulate without you realizing. Right? Uh, uh, our, our teacher used to give us the uh, crazy example of the frog. You know the frog experiment? It's a pretty cruel experiment, but it's been done. Uh, you know, there's boiling water and you throw a frog in it. What happens to the frog? What does it do? Actually, it jumps right out. It doesn't stay in, it jumps right out immediately, just pops out. Then you take a water, put it in cold, put normal temperature water, put the frog in it, it's happy. And you start heating it slowly. You start heating the water slowly until it boils. And when it boils, guess what? The frog dies, it never jumps out. When you gradually end up in a bad situation, you don't even realize, right? You don't even, big, big sins, yeah, you'll see them right away. Oh, I'm not touching that. But small things, you know what you're gonna say? Ah, what's the big deal? What's the big deal? And you do it once, twice, three times, 300,000 times, a million times, you won't even know how many times you did it. Because it's not a big deal to you. And you'll be like that frog where the water can went up slowly. <laughs> right, subhanAllah. So the, this, the Sahaba were very, very scared of the smallest uh, uh, mistakes. But inshallah, we'll balance that concept next week. And we said when we were studying Surah Al-Zilzal, there's a difference between sh being shown your deeds and having them evaluated. Once they go for evaluation, something else is going to happen. And we'll study more of that today, inshallah ta'ala. Because you know, just the, the deeds are on the outside, but Allah doesn't just judge, judge the deed. What else does He judge? The intentions behind them. Right? Not just the deed, but the intentions behind them. So you may think you have a pretty good pile of good deeds, and then you take them before Allah and you found out they're worth nothing. First you're shown your deeds though, then they're evaluated. Once you get, take them for evaluation, they're worthless. Right? Now, so what we learn from that basically is, you have your deeds and then you have your intentions. And where are the intentions? They're in the heart, right? So Allah Azza wa Jal mentions in Surah Al-Zidzal, He mentions the deeds. أعمالهم. In Surah Al-Adiyat, what does He mention? وَحُصِّلَ مَا فِي الصُّدُورِ What's the, Now the deeds and the intentions come together, now they are ready for evaluation. فَأَمَّا مَنْ خَفَّتْ مَوَازِينُهُ وَأَمَّا مَنْ ثَقُلَتْ مَوَازِينُهُ What's coming in the next surah, in, in this surah, Al-Qari'ah, is now they're ready for evaluation because it combines the deeds and the intentions. SubhanAllah, it's a beautiful progression between these three things. Okay? So that's what, another thing we learn in, uh, uh, in this phenomenal surah. Allah Azza wa Jal describes that evil deeds will have no weight. Evil deeds will have no weight. And the only things that will have weight is good deeds. That's the only thing that will have weight. Now this is closer to, you know, like a modern scale that they have those magnetic scales and those spring scales. There's no two things. You just put it on top of this one thing. If it weighs something, it will show. If it's weightless, it won't show. That's the kind of scale we're kind of talking about here. If it has some weight, it will expose its weight. If it has no weight, it will be nothing. For example, وَقَدِمْنَا إِلَى مَا عَمِلُوا مِنْ عَمَلٍ فَجَعَلْنَاهُ هَبَاءً مَنْثُورًا Well, they'll come, we'll approach whatever they had done. Whatever deeds they had done, kuffar. They had done some good deeds too. And Allah said, we'll make it, make it scattered dust. Now what is the weight of scattered dust? Nothing. It's dust. It's weightless. Allah will make their deeds worthless by making them weightless. By making them weightless. So let's look at these four or five places in the Qur'an where this subject is dealt with that will give us more clarity inshaAllah. وَنَضَعُ الْمَوَازِينَ This is in Surah Al-Anbiya. وَنَضَعُ الْمَوَازِينَ الْقِسْطِ لِيَوْمِ الْقِيَامَةِ And we will establish the scales, if you will, of justice on the day of resurrection. فَلَا تُظْلَمُ نَفْسٌ شَيْئًا And no one will, not even a single person will be wronged in any matter. وَإِن كَانَ مِثْقَالَ حَبَّةٍ مِنْ خَرْدَلٍ أَتَيْنَا بِهَا وَكَفَى بِنَا حَاسِبِينَ And had there even been the, the, word, the amount of a seed, of mustard, if that much of a weight was there, we would give it to them. Allah Azza wa doesn't say a worth of good deeds. He just says deed. If a deed was worth even a mustard seed, we would give it. Atayna biha, we will give them that. And we are enough to take account. In other words, the only thing that will have, Allah will give to them means it's good deed. And what that implies is only good deeds will carry weight. 